Good morning, everybody. Mike Nemec back here again with Opening Brain and Royal Free Commons for Thursday, September 28th. A little bit on the defensive again, like we were yesterday, down around one to two cents in the corn and the wheat, down around five to six in the beans, two dollars in the meal, and 15 points in the soybean oil. We've been um, like that yesterday, and then we wound up fighting the market on its way back. So we continue in an overall pattern in here. I think they were still somewhat more sideways than anything else. Although over the very, very short term, we've been on a little bit of a bounce in the wheat market and a bit, a bit of a break in the soybean oil. Um, we're going to have our uh, weekly export sales coming on out later on here this morning in a few minutes. They're looking at moderate to light corn and wheat sales, but another week of strong bean sales. I will say, well, we'll see how they come out here today, but we are running behind the USDA's pace for wheat, corn, and beans as far as sales go. I know our exports are ahead of a year ago and or are ahead of uh, what the USDA is currently forecasting. It's so surprising that considering all the business we're doing, how weak the cash markets are for being so something of a consideration there. Once we get through today, we will continue to monitor harvest progress and weather. Right now, it doesn't seem like we have any near-term problems with trying to get the uh, corn and beans out of the U.S. ground, but uh, there's a little bit of concern as far as dryness goes east of the Mississippi River for soft red winter wheat. A little bit of worry what's going on with Australia's wheat, and then before long we'll start to be monitoring South American weather as they go and start to plant their corn and beans, Argentina and Brazil in particular. So then tomorrow we're going to have our USDA report, small grains, quarterly stocks. The trade will take stock in that as far as what the average trade guesses are. The trade will be kind of monitoring what the wheat crop is looking like, and also what the uh, bean residual numbers are going to be looking like as far as if the old crop bean carryout is any smaller than what we're currently at. So all that's still seemingly, in, in general, as far as guesses go, a non-bullish affair. We'll also have first notice day tomorrow for October meal and October soybean oil, so be a little bit wary of that if you have October positions. But all in all, we are still monitoring positions as far as what money flow is all about. We still have the trade net short the grains along the beans and along the oil and short the meal. And I guess maybe even more important thing tomorrow, other than the report or what we've been doing lately, it's going to be the end of the week, end of the month, and end of the quarter. In position evening, take, will take precedence more so than maybe the reports. So we'll see what brings us tomorrow. Once again, these are my opinions, not that of ADM or ADMIS. Thank you.